we have successfully displayed the data whatever data we are having inside the cart that data we have displayed here okay now first one by one we are going to work on updating the quantity removing the items single item removing multiple items and finally we are having checkout section first we are going to work on this quantity section now here inside the database for quantity default value we have set as zero okay default value you can give anything if you want to give one two three four okay whatever you want you can give but as of now i have given the default value as zero okay let it load now here now when user enters three now this three should be updated inside the database now whatever value i am having here that should be updated inside the database and for mango i should be getting the output as three now here you can see quantity by default i have given here zero okay it completely depends on you what value you want to store now suppose if i just give here three for this one now this three should be updated here let me just come i'll come here now first for better understanding i'm just going to empty this entire cart i'll just come to operations okay first we are going to work on individual products then we are going to insert multiple products now if i refresh this one i will not have anything and also we have to see this if we are not having any items then i should be getting the message as your cart is empty okay that also we are going to see later i'll come to home page as of now i'm just going to insert this mango okay now when i click on this cart section i am having this mango okay you can see the mango is been displayed the price is also been displayed now here if i insert some quantity and when i click on update button this data whatever i am having here that should be updated inside the cart tables now i am clicking on update button so i have to check for update click i'll come okay before that let me just remove this i'll save this now if i refresh this one okay i'm having everything is fine now here we are sending the data inside the database we are updating the products and we are sending the data inside the database so first we have to wrap this entire thing inside one form so i'll just come here now below this table i'll just write here form action i'm not going to give anything because we are going to write the code in the same file method i'll be writing here post and also if you want to give ink type you can give or else you, you can just ignore that one i'll just copy this closing form and at the end wherever we are having this one checkout button below this i'm just going to close this now this entire data this table entire thing is closed inside the form now if i refresh this you can see i will not be having any change but i have closed inside the form now whenever i click on update button whatever value i am having inside input field that will be stored inside the database so first i'm just going to work on this update button i'll just bring this down i'll just comment this out now below this i'm just going to create input field and type i'm just going to give here submit okay let me just create i'm not getting suggestion i'll just write here input type i'm just going to give here submit i'll just write here submit then next inside this i'm just going to write the value value i'll just write here update cart update cart i'll save this i'll just close and save now if i refresh this one you can see this is been changed now for this i'm just going to add some classes whatever classes i have given here i'll just copy the same class and inside this input field i'm just going to paste that one now if i refresh this one the stylings will be applied now for this input field i'm just going to give the name attribute as i always tell whenever we are writing the code in php this name attribute is very very important i'll just write here name inside this i'm just going to write here update cart update underscore cart i'll save this now if i refresh this one i will not have any change now here we have to update the quantity for quantity we have already created this input field and inside this we are having this type is equal to text and for this also i'm just going to give the quantity okay name is equal to quantity id if you want you can give or else you can just remove class i have just given form input and width to be 50 now below this td we are just going to write the php code to update the quantity inside the cart table now here i'm just going to write the php code now first i just have to get the ip address i'll just copy this one and here i'm just going to paste 
okay now here if you don't give this global then also it is going to work because we are not including any function as of now i'll just remove this now if i refresh this one you can see i will not have any effect i will be getting the proper output we have made that connection variable as global because whenever we were writing functions we have to make that one or else we will be getting the error now first i have just accessed the ip address now here i'm just going to write if is set whenever my update button is click only then i have to update this data for update i have given this value now here i'm just going to write post i'll just write update cart now inside this first i'm just going to access the value from this input field to access that one i'll just write here quantity quantities is equal to dollar post using post method i'm accessing this value qty i'll copy this and here i'm going to paste okay whatever value i have entered inside this input field like 5 whatever value i have entered that value i have accessed i have stored inside this variable after getting this one i have to update the cart table so here i'm just going to write update cart inside this i'm just going to write update query i'll be writing update cart details okay that is my table name update cart details and i have to set this one okay this is the syntax of update query update cart details set quantity okay this is the column name set quantity is equal to this one i'll copy this and here i'm going to paste set quantity is equal to this one and here i'm just going to write the condition where ip address where ip address is equal to this particular ip address whatever we are getting i'll copy this one and here i'm going to paste Okay, now if you see here inside the database inside this cart table i am having colon colon one for each and every product i am having the same ip address because we are working in the same system so i will be having the same ip address now whenever i click on this update it is going to update all the four fields no problem we are going to see one by one then after that we have to execute this query i'll just copy this and here i'm going to paste i'll copy this update let me just change the spelling I'll copy this variable i'll just paste that variable here once we update the quantity we have to update the price as well so for that first i'm just going to write here total price total price will be equal to whatever total price i'm having into this quantity okay suppose i'm having total price as 200 now if i increase the quantity to 3 so 200 into 3 so in the same way 200 into quantities i'll be getting the total price i'll copy this and here i'm going to paste now this total price we have already passed here we have already passed inside this subtotal section i'll come here now i'll refresh this now when i click on this three now here i'm having 200 i'll click on update button okay here i'm having syntax you have an error in syntax on 128 i'm having some error let me just check for that on line 128 Okay, I'll just wrap inside single course because our IP address is varchar. I'll just wrap this. Okay, now I have just added single quotes here. Now let me just check whether it is working or not. I'll refresh this. Now here I'm having subtotal as 200. Now I'll come to database. I'll just click on browse. Now inside this you can see here I'm having product ID 1. That is the mango IP address and this quantity as 0. Now I'll just click on update. I'll just give it 3. I'll click on update button. Okay, now here I am getting this error. If we are getting this kind of error, basically it means that we have used the same spellings for executing the query or maybe we have missed single quotes and double quotes here and there. Okay, we are just going to check for that. On line, it shows line 111. I'll come on line 111. Okay, everything is same. Okay, we are having result products, result products. Okay, here everything is same. I'll just check. Now here we are updating the card. Okay, now you can see first I am fetching all the data from the database. So for that I am just writing this one. Okay, whichever product ID I am having. For that I am just executing this. I have wrapped inside this variable. I have stored that inside this result products variable. And here also while updating I am having the same variable name. So here I will be writing result product quantity. Basically it happens if we have used the same variables. I will come. I will refresh this. Now when I give 3. I'll click on update card now you can see the total sub okay subtotal is being changed now inside the database if i just refresh you can see the quantity is being updated to 3 
okay this is how we are going to fix the error if you are getting errors as i always tell you should not get panic you just take time to understand what error you are getting check the code again and again and definitely you will get the solution for that okay you don't have to stop if you get the error you have to fix the error you have to search for the errors and you have to keep on exploring what errors you got once you understand the type of the error then looking at the error itself you will tell where you have gone wrong i have just written a single course i have just changed this spelling rest everything is same we are just updating the quantity next we are going to work on how to remove the items okay this is how we are going to work with update quantity next we are going to see how to remove items how to remove single items how to remove multiple items and finally then we are going to work on this checkout section